What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back. You know where we're at. We're at Insurance Auto Auctions. We picked up another one. If you watched my last IA walk around video, you would have seen that we picked up this 2006 Hyundai Azera for $800. 800 bucks guys and i'm here to tell you after going ahead and bidding on it actually i just bought it now you guys should have seen that video man we were back there doing the walk around i saw this car with a buy it now of 800 bucks i think it was a pedal car and i just i had to do it man i had a good feeling about this car so here it is here we are and i'm stranded all right i'm at iaa jessica dropped me off i have no tools i have no materials no supplies nothing just me, my camera, and a new car. We have to take it on the highway and attempt to make it home. But before we get too far into this video, I want to introduce you all to somebody. My good friend, Lunar Outlaw. His name is Brian. He does a lot of work with Haggerty. He's got some great videos, including, uh, well, just watch this for yourself. What's up, everyone? My name is Brian from Lunar Outlaw's Garage. And as you can see, I have a pretty diverse taste when it comes to what I like to drive. Next year we're putting a 440 in the satellite, but even with the 440, I highly doubt it will be as wild as this car is. This 1989 Toyota Supra is, well, less than stock. I've owned it for 12 years and it's gone through several different engines. Never blew one up, just none of them made me happy. This one does. As you can see, she's actually a very clean car. We go through here, but uh, just wait until you hear this. Now I did, I did let it warm up before I did that. So, you know, we go underneath here. You can kind of see what we've done. And we'll take it for one last rip before it snows tomorrow. Like I said, I still have quite a bit to do to this thing, but this is our proof of concept. This is right out of an SC400. It's a 1UZ FE, and I would be happy if it's making around 300 horsepower, 320. But the trick is this car weighs underneath uh, 3,000 pounds. We've taken a lot out of it. 430 rear differential, and boy, guys, I'll tell you what, I'll let it speak for itself. A big thank you to Randy for giving me the opportunity to show off one of my favorite builds and a car that's quite honestly <laughs> a complete animal. Um, and I, I could tell you right now that I'm gonna need a lot of tires over the coming years. Not only for this project, but for all the other crazy things that we are doing here. So you guys have yourselves a beautiful day. Remember, keep your shiny side up and God bless. So I'm telling you guys, you're gonna wanna go check out his videos. He's got a lot going on, man. He's always working on a new project and his channel is growing. Get in on the ground floor, man, before he blows up. Get in there now. I'm telling you, he's a good dude and you're gonna enjoy his content. His link down below. Thank you, Brian, for sending me that video, man. Go check out Lunar Outlaw's Garage. Now, I like to call this car the car that most people didn't know about. I highly doubt that many of you knew that there was a Hyundai Azera. I think a lot of people know more about a Hyundai Equus than they know about the Azera. It's a very, very nice and refined car, especially for Hyundai of this generation. This is a 2006, and Hyundais weren't exactly known for their reliability or their luxurious nature. <laughs> this car, however, I think personally is as good, if not better, than a Toyota Camry, specifically a Toyota Avalon. Yeah, that, that's right, I said it, I said it. This thing has a 263 horsepower, 3.8 liter V6. This car, new, this is the limited edition, would cost you almost $30,000 in 2006. <laughs> in 2006, this was a $30,000 car. This has a clean title. Beautiful Carfax report, which I have right here. Tell me this does not look 
kind of like a Camry or an, or an Avalon. Uh, I, I think the interior does kind of resemble that. We got a beautiful Carfax report here, guys. No accidents. It has amazing service history and a value of around $6,000. That's right. I got a car that has a retail value of around $6,000. And I got it for 800 bucks. How much out the door? $1,100. $1,100 out the door. No major issues at all. We got a great service history. Look at this, man. I'll just kind of run through it real quick. It's had regular oil changes throughout its entire life, man. This car has been very well cared for. It's even had, I think, coolant transmission service as well. Look at this. I'll just scroll through this so you guys can just take a quick look. But somebody took somebody took exceptional care of this. It's just page after page. I think there's like 60 service records on this car. Okay. Somebody took really good care. And the funny thing is right before it got sent to pedal, uh, they had it serviced yet again. There's your transmission fluid change, antifreeze, all the other fluids were checked, oil change, all of that was done at the same time. I, I mean, somebody obviously really, really loved this car. They did. It's a South Carolina car. Yeah, somebody took good care of her, guys. Uh, South Carolina, again, that was 2020. And then it ends right here at uh, 200,611 miles, 9 of 21, maintenance inspection completed. Automax of Norman is a, uh, it's a Hyundai dealer. So somebody had it at the Hyundai dealer. Now, in case you missed the video, the car has got a set of brand new tires on it, okay? Brand new tire. She's a little, she's a little dirty. There are some very light haildings, and when I say light, I mean very, very light haildings. But I mean these tires, they're Firestone all seasons. All the tires look exactly like that, guys. Now the car is filthy, and it does have a little. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Maybe a, a, a blowout. Uh, whack the fender, bend it out a little bit. I'm sure if you knew a guy, you could probably get somebody to work that, kind of roll that back in there. The rest of the body, though, looks pretty damn good. The interior, also relatively nice, especially considering the year. It's got a sunshade back there as well, kind of like a Mercedes. Sunroof, headliner is good. Oh, that dust and dirt, good lord. Let's go ahead and roll this window up. Yes, the important window works. Express up, you can let go of it and the window goes up. Ugh. By the way, it's sitting here running. <laughs> you think I'm gonna trust it going all the way home until I, no. <laughs> I'll call somebody to tow it or come get me. Um, it also came with a $25 gift card to any one of these steakhouses. That's a deal right there, guys. Uh, the dashboard is good, but there is some cracking around the airbag. That's pretty normal, pretty normal. Does the sunroof work? Why, yes, it does. And it's express. You touch it once and it does it. Except for down. All right, we got a mirror that's got your directions on it, along with your little home link thing from back in the day. You've got a CD player and a tape player, all right? Everything on this car is digital. How nice, like, do you got digital climate control, dual zone. This right here, I'm not sure what it is, just a cubby hole. It does have all of its books and everything from new. All the books are in there. You got your little cup holders. It comes with some money. It's got heated seats, both sides, and the heated seats work. You've got your, uh, your ashtray here. It's never seen a cigarette. I'm amazed. And if you're wondering about the miles, let's go ahead and get into that. There, uh, The only warning light I see is this ESC, electronic slip control, I guess, whatever that is. That light is on. We got 200,844 miles. It's got a five-speed automatic transmission. Let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick so you can take a look. There's not much to see under there. Uh, it's also got the Infinity sound system. It also came with almost a full tank of gas. 
and in today's in today's market i'll take it all day long man i will where's the uh where's the there it is oh 263 hertz purrs yes sir and a new interstate battery i didn't put that in there that was not from austin that was not from austin that came with the car listen to this thing purr runs like a dream man it does it is in my opinion a great looking car it needs the headlights clean and it needs a hell of a detail and i'm telling you we're going to do something in this video that i don't think we've done in any video prior i'm going to get this car ready to go in this video that's right it is uh 10 18 at noon i have the detail folks coming out from uh on the spot detailing they're going to come out and they're going to clean up this car in this video all right now we're about to take off and we're going to find out if this thing is any good or not but before we do i don't want you to miss this upcoming video yeah that's right i got it i got it oh and that's right it's got flat tires uh shoot i i, I forgot about that um yeah they're really flat too i hope somebody didn't puncture them or they didn't get poked with the forks. I've seen that happen. I have, I've seen that happen where uh, the forks get into a man and uh, they just punch a hole right through them. Yep, 2012 Chevy Cruze Eco, the Turbo 1.4. There she is. And, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't tell you what I paid for. You won't believe it. Remember, they were asking $2,800 for this car. And, uh, well, I'm just gonna say this. I didn't pay $2,800 for this car. <laughs> I'll leave that open and uh, I'll take this with me. This is too easy to, that's too easy to steal. And without that, you ain't going nowhere. This one I think is gonna need a little bit of work and that's fine with me. But uh, 2012 Chevy Cruze Eco guys, yep. We bought it, that's coming soon. But right now we're gonna focus on the Avalon. I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, <laughs> on the Hyundai as Zara. Let's get it on the road. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Whoa. Oh, oh. wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that little 3.8 liter is torquey. Good night. I've left this thing running for a while, guys. It's cold out. It's like 40-something degrees outside. I turned the heater on. I got the heated seats on. It's nice and warm. It's toasty in here. It feels good. And I'm here to tell you, the little car is just... She's riding and handling absolutely great. Okay. Next step is to get it on the highway. I mean, that's the ultimate test. Normally, I don't take these cars on the interstate. We're going to jump on the highway right now. Let's let's see if it'll burn the tires. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Woo! She's a beast. Oh, damn. Guys. Wow. I love it. I love it. Oh, I wish I knew what the torque specs were on this, man. Uh, we should try out the cruise control. There's a button over here. You pull it, and then you set, and... I don't know why there's a light right in the middle of your screen there. There we go. Cruise control is set at 60 and it's holding. If I hit the brake, yeah, it goes off. There we go. Yeah, we got cruise control, guys. We are on the highway in a car that we paid $800 for. $800, buy it now, for a pedal car that nobody wanted. Nobody wanted it. This car sat on their website. I saw it for days and days at 800 bucks and I thought, Man, I should buy it. I just got a good feeling about it. But I figured I just didn't want to take the risk. I'd go look at it. 
This car should have been sold immediately. Somebody should have jumped on this. Somebody should have jumped on this for eight hundred freaking dollars, man. This is a well serviced, well cared for. Listen to it. Are you kidding me? Not a shake, a straight steering wheel, nothing. Brakes are excellent. You 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 got to be kidding me. That's all I got to say. You got to be kidding me for $800. Like I told you guys before, when I was when I was younger, I didn't have much, man, and and I'm sitting here riding this right now thinking I I could think back in the day, I would have been so blessed to have been able to have a car like this. By the way, air conditioning works. Air conditioning works. I, I I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how I come across these cars. I don't know how I get the feelings that I get. And I'm not 100% right. All right, let me try to let these people on here. Come on over, guys. Are you getting over? Oh, you don't have to drive like an act. Oh, yeah. Big man. Anyway, I, I, I hate the way some of these people drive. And this thing is great, guys. This thing is great. I'm just saying, for this kind of money, you I, I, I doubt you're going to find a better car than this. Honest, honest to God. And I say that about a lot of cars, but for $800, I just don't think you're going to find a better car than this one right here. I really don't. This thing, I, I can tell you right now, it's solid. This is a solid runner. And I get I get these intuitions about cars. I have since the beginning of time. I've always had this feeling about cars. And most of the time I'm right. I don't know these cars. I don't know the previous owners of these cars. How could I know what ones are gonna be good from the ones that are gonna be bad? I don't have any you know special powers or anything i go to the auction i look at them just like you do it just so happens that i do have kind of the sixth sense and most of the time it serves me very very well i knew this is going to be a good one okay guys we're sitting here cruising on the highway with no issues at all the temp is good the only warning light on is whatever that esc is and uh, if that means that it does burnouts all the time, uh, that light can stay on. I'm perfectly fine with that. It does a mean burnout. We got us a steal here, guys. Traffic is going to get tight up here. We got a lot of construction, and people are going to start driving like idiots. So I'm going to focus a little more on getting this thing back to the hacienda. And uh, I'll meet you guys there. Well, unless it doesn't make it. I'm pretty sure it's going to make it. It's gonna make it. Till the day I die. Yep. Yep, the sound system is phenomenal as well. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. No issues. Take a look. I don't know if you can even see down there, but everything is still good to go, man. We got just maybe uh, four or five more miles left. I think we're gonna make it. Guys, I told you she'd make it. I knew she'd make it. <laughs> All right. Well, here we are. Back at the Hacienda. We're going to roll this thing into the shop since we're fresh off the highway and everything. It's a good time to pop the hood, check for any, any smoke or anything like that, and uh, see if we can see anything wrong under there. We'll go ahead and leave it running for the time being. Oh, did I forget to pop it? No, I popped it. Let me sniff. I don't, I don't smell anything. I don't see anything. Listen to that engine. It just purrs, man. <laughs> oh man, what a steal of a deal. I know, I know, Randy, we're supposed to get on the Audi this week. 
That's not gonna happen. Dude, I had so many other things been going on for me to get on the Audi. First of all, though, I'm giving a sh this is shout out video, man. I had somebody send me these these Hot Wheels and this five watt wireless charger, and they sent me a letter with it. Um, so I want to shout them out, man. It's Four Banger Vector, all right, on YouTube, and then on TikTok, it's Challenger Hellcat One, and. This dude has been watching me since the Aztec. That was the first car I did on the channel. All right. So I really appreciate you watching my videos. And he said that he's sorry that he couldn't send much. And so, I'm, listen, you don't have to send me stuff. All right. I, 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 don't, I don't care about stuff. I appreciate it. I do. I appreciate it. Thank you for sending me this stuff. But I don't ever want anybody thinking, oh, all I can afford is to send a Hot Wheels. Man, just send me a letter. You don't have to send me stuff. You could send me a letter. You don't have to do that. You could just send me a letter, man. Thank you for this, all right? Thank you, Vector. I do appreciate it. Now, over here, this one's a little unique. All right, all of this came from the same gentleman. Uh, I believe this is David in Jinx, Oklahoma. Uh, so somebody... <laughs> <laughs> the stickers are absolutely great, man. But there's a couple of them I'm a little I'm a little confused about. Uh, I love Batman and Robin, guys, and I have never once in my life thought about Batman and Robin kissing. Nope, that's never crossed my mind. And then, uh, isn't this one of the Fantastic Four holding a condom? What? Uh, okay, all right. Now, you know, we got the Ninja Turtles and Pink Panther and Spider-Man, Luigi. And, you know, all the I, this stuff is all cool, man. Captain America. All right. I, I, they just just a couple of these I looked at and I was like, hmm, not my taste. But hey, man, more power to you, brother. Thank you for sending me all this stuff. He, he said he knew that I love license plates. And uh, well, you sent me plenty of them. And fellow Oklahoman here, man. So thank you. Big shout out to both of you for sending me some really cool stuff. Now, before I get much further in the video, I've had a lot of people saying, Randy, do you still have the Ram? There she is, guys. I'll tell you, I'll even tell you today's date. Uh, I don't know what today's date is, but today is like the 19th. I believe this is the 19th. It is Friday, all right? And there's that big, beautiful Ram just sitting there gleaming in the sun, man. All right, so there you go. The Ram is still here. The Audi is here. The Azera is here. I'm going to go ahead and take this plate off real quick. Um, we got the uh, detail guys coming out here ASAP to knock this one out of the park, guys. And I, I think this car is going to look really good when they're done. So obviously she needs a bath. And like we said, we're going to get the headlights clean. I'm going to do that all in this video. Normally, I don't do that. Normally, I would make a second video. Um, about getting it cleaned and all of that stuff. But I decided on this car, I'm just gonna knock it all out today in this video. So don't go anywhere. You can see the floor there. It's, that's pretty nasty. It looks like somebody dumped some coffee or something all over it. Um, she's not that bad on the interior though. She's really not. Just that spot on the floor there is about the worst. The body is dirty, the wheels are dirty. I could do it myself, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to, and it's not because I'm lazy. I have a lot of other stuff to get done today, guys. I don't, never mind. I'm not even gonna get into it because all I'm gonna say is the other house. We bought a new house, uh, we're done, and now it's time to start preparing, which means all new appliances. It, it, there's a lot, there is a ton. Um, all new, you know, all new utilities because it's in a different area. It's not in this area. So the electric is different. The internet's different. The uh, water is different. Everything is completely different. So I've got to deal with that too. I don't have time to deal with this right now. But either way, this car is gonna come out looking nice when it's done, guys. I really do believe that. I think uh, on the spot details gonna make this look really good. Let's come back and check on this once they are done with it. Um, and then basically in this video, this car is gonna be ready to go back to auction. Uh, God, I like it. I really do. I really, 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 really like this one. Uh, yeah, we still have no issues. Well, no issues other than that ESC. She's just sitting here running like a top man. And let me uh, let me turn that off. We don't need that on. Let's make sure the battery is going to hold a charge. Um, there are two keys to this. The gray one is the ignition, and the black one, I guess, is the doors. The black one does not work in the ignition. Oh yeah, she fires right back up. 
Oh, and the ESC light went out. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. So here it is after on the spot got done detailing it. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. Wait till we get to the other side, guys. It's got this like pearlescent color to it. When the sun hits it just right, it just, it, the way it, I'm telling you, I love it. I love this car. I really do. I'm not wanting to send this one back to auction. <laughs> really not. I'm not going to keep it. I wish there was another way though, man. This car has got to be worth, it's got to be worth $4,000. It's got to be worth $4,000. The only thing I want to take care of right now is I'm going to take it to Walmart and we're going to get these headlights cleaned up and hope that the majority of this is on the outside, not on the inside. But I think with some cleaned up headlights, this thing would look a ton better. Go ahead and show you the interior real quick. It came out really nice. Look at her. She is a beautiful car, guys. Look at the front. The worst part of the interior was right here in this floorboard where it looked like someone had spilt coffee or something and just left it like they just never cleaned it up well it's a lot better now i mean obviously it's not nearly as nasty as it was um but you know there's only so much you can do there's only so much you can do it looks a ton better i'm happy with it i guess let's get this thing down to walmart real quick and uh, have them go ahead and clean up these headlights and hopefully it makes some kind of a difference i'm telling you Walmart knocks it out of the park, man. 25 bucks is not even tax. It's a flat $25. Look at this. Now you tell me, is that worth 25 bucks? Uh, I think it is. <laughs> I think that is totally worth $25 all day long. I mean, look at the clarity. Yeah, yeah, it changes the whole look, man. It takes it from looking like eh, and it turns it into something that's just like, man, that's a nice looking car. And the fact is, we're not just we're not just changing the appearance because it's a crap car that we're trying to make look better so we can get more money. She's a good car. I took Jessica and Nick for it. They couldn't believe it either. They couldn't believe it. The only thing I have left is this seems to be a common problem with these Hyundais, man. Um, I don't even know how to get this. Uh, see what I mean? Look at this. See how that's broken right there? We gotta fix that. We gotta try to fix this as best we can. It's like that old GM plastic and that Dodge plastic and stuff, man. It just, it's brittle and it just comes apart. And uh, unfortunately it's the underside that's coming apart. So uh, I gotta fix, I don't know if you guys are gonna like it or not but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. If it works, great. If it doesn't, well, there's no harm in trying to make it look a little bit better. So if you don't know what this is, I bought this at Walmart. I don't know, like 40 bucks or something. It's a hot glue gun. I don't know if this is going to do any good, but I definitely wanna try to get this to where it's not falling out anymore. Um, I'm just gonna kind of hold this in here and hope that it stays. And I know there's gonna be a lot of you saying that is awful, Randy. That is absolutely not the right thing to do. Well, I could try super gluing it, except I already tried that and super glued, <laughs> super glue didn't work very well. So I decided we're gonna try to do this. We're gonna try to do this another way. I'm gonna put a little glue in here and put a little glue right here. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it just like that and we're gonna see what happens. Give it about two seconds for that glue to cool off. And look at that. Oop. Okay, that didn't work. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna try it again, man. I'm gonna try it again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Just gonna hold it there a little bit. Put a little bit in here as well. And uh, I'm hopeful 
that we can get this looking just a little bit better. I, I can't say how long this is gonna last. I don't know if this is a long-term solution or not. It's just something, uh, you know, I thought about it and I was like, well, I don't know what I can do to fix this, but I would like to just try to make it look a little bit better. I'm gonna continue on with this, guys. We'll come back in a minute and hopefully she looks a little bit better when we're done. Well, there it is, guys. Do you approve? Do you disapprove? You know, as I said, it's one of those things when and there's really nothing you can do. I mean, you just do what you can. It's not going to affect the functionality of the car at all. In fact, I've been driving around with it for a couple days with that piece hanging. It, it's not hurting anything. It wasn't even in the way of anything. It just wasn't, it wasn't very pretty. Now, that's not very pretty either. And I'll be the first to admit it's not my best work. And I'm sure some of you are going to be really upset about it. But as I said, it was just a couple pieces of trim that was just hanging down. It really wasn't hurting anything. So I think personally, it looks better now than it did when we started. Um, how would you fix this the right way? Um, because all of those pieces are part of all of this, I think you'd pretty much have to disassemble the entire dash. Is that worth it? I don't think so. It's definitely not for me, and I don't think it's really affecting the value of the car at all. It's still a great car, and I think it's a wonderful value. So why would I take a shortcut and then show you guys? Is it because I welcome the punishment? The criticism? No, not at all. <laughs> But I show you because this car is going back to insurance auto auction. In one video, one video, we were able to pick it up, drive it home, test it out, make sure it was a good car. We were able to kind of dog on it a little bit. We took it to Walmart and we got the headlights done. We had on the spot deal detail come out and do the interior and exterior, make this car look good. We're done. We're done. And I don't want one of you to end up purchasing this car and have that trim hanging down and be upset about it. I don't want you to get the car and see, oh my God, he hot glued it, he screwed me. No, you know what you're getting, all right? You know what you're getting. I did what I thought was best to make the car look a little bit better and a little bit more presentable for the next purchaser. If that's you, you know what to expect. You've seen it, we've driven it, we dogged on it, and the car did absolutely great the whole way. I think it's much more presentable now than it was, and it's ready for insurance auto auctions. Now, it's obviously still here. Today is Saturday, and tomorrow is Sunday. This video will go up. You will be watching this Sunday morning, or presumably sometime on Sunday. And I wanted to get this video up, and I want, in case you're going to decide to bid on this, I want you to see everything, including the shortcut that I just took. I ought to first to admit, it is a shortcut. I want you to see it so that there are no surprises when you get the car. You know exactly what you're getting from me, for better or for worse. With that said, wonderful car here, guys. We stole it at $800. I am, I am happy as can be with this car, guys. I truly am. I'm going to get out of here. I got to edit this video and get it uploaded for you in the morning. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know. If you didn't, don't feel bad about hitting the thumbs down button. It's perfectly fine. Drop your comments below, and I will have a link and a dedicated video for this car right here as soon as it goes up at Insurance Auto Auctions and is ready for you to bid, you will get that video. So keep on the lookout, keep on the lookout for the video and it will have the link in it that'll take you straight to it. Stay tuned because tomorrow we are going to get into the 2012 Chevy Cruze Eco and I'm here to tell you that video did not go like this one did, okay? I'm promise you tomorrow's video was not as simple as let's get in a car and drive it and clean it nope <laughs> that video took me an entire day to record and it took almost half a day just to get the car anyway don't miss the video tomorrow i i promise you you're gonna enjoy it stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one